Is this allowed? Am I allowed to have fun at work? I don't know. <laughs> Most conventional power generation methods actually convert a chemical energy into heat and mechanical work and then into electrical energy. Fuel cells offer us the ability to convert chemical energy directly into electrical energy with a very low environmental impact. Their lifetime has to be at least 40,000 hours, which is about five years. One of the early problems that we saw on these cells was a forming of a, a resistive layer. It would basically choke off your fuel cells. You would have less area to work with and to conduct your ions. What we're doing in the lab is running long-term tests, looking at the different materials in the fuel cell stack up and measuring the degradation over time, and we're trying to minimize that. So it's like t-shirt screen printing with high-tech ceramics. We're basically building up the fuel cell, putting down the barrier layer and the cathode so that then we can test these materials for their power density and their resistance over time. Yeah, I'll be the next materials girl. I don't know. <laughs> So we have thermal couples in the rigs and we can look at the temperature while it's testing here. You know, every week or so we'll run a power curve on the cells just to see, you know, how they're doing, how their performance is, and we'll plot that up and look at the different cells and compare them to each other. It's not fitting. I can't do the mood walk. <laughs> There needs to be a paradigm shift in like how we all think about how we're using energy. I think we need to be investing in alternative types of energy that are cleaner and have less of an environmental impact for future generations. Solid oxide fuel cell isn't the answer for everything, but it's 